Greetings, YouTube. The laser shooting robots are back with another action figure review. Yeah, these are the Game of Thrones uh, Series 2, since they have not a nice Series 3 yet. No. Uh, we've broken it into two parts. We did a night that we are going to do this a while ago, but... Hey, better late uh, We got a little distracted of our videos we had where we prioritized a little more in this. And you know what? And they we're kind of celebrating. We're now part of the Freedom Network of yeah. um, channels. So, yeah, we kind of thought, well, why don't we kick it off with the Game of Thrones review? Uh, we... Since Game of Thrones just started again, I have yet to start watching. I like to wait for a first a couple episodes to go down, so you can and then it. just watch them back to back. Binge watch. And then I don't think, oh, I've got to wait a whole week for the next episode. Exactly. Who died now? Next episode's going to die. So, yeah, we got... So this is what, series two, so I guess series figure two. seven. Figure seven, eight and nine. Uh, we got Jimmy Laster. And his you know. Kingsguard regalia. Yeah, we got a picture of the actor on the back. And this is before, this is before the, the incident at Heron Hall. Yeah, so it's kind of yeah. more of a season one problem. Their likeness has gotten a little better, I've got to admit. They're, they've got better in the likenesses. They sure did. Compared to season one. Definitely. They got Brian of Tarth, who is going to be in the next Star Wars movie. Brian of Tarth. Uh, see, I can't remember who she's playing, but she's got to be in the next Star Wars movie. Same thing, picture in the back. Mm -hmm. Also in the series, you've got Jimmy Lasser, Brianna Tarf, Ara Stark, Khal Drogo, Rob Stark, and Daenerys Targaryen, uh, Mother of Dragons version. Exactly. Part two um, of this video. Ara Stark, so. who just celebrated her 18th birthday the other day, even Happy though she still looks like a 12 year old. Mizey Williams. I think I hope I got your name right. I probably didn't. Sorry. But, yep. Or Ari, as. The her boy name. Yes, Ari. Uh, Such okay, tragedy. Oh, I'm Brianna Toff. Brianna the beauty, they call me. So, she, this, she is actually kind of, you know, I mean, that's a thing. I mean, I think in the book she's supposed to be like, she's supposed to be really hideous. homely. Yeah. So even this thing was like, I mean, I don't think you can humanly find anybody that would be cast, like, you know, that could cast that role. So yeah. it's kind of nice they kind of, you know, I was really worried they're going to Feminize her a little bit. Yeah, I was worried they're going to take the actress and then like make her put on prosthetics or something, and I'm like, please don't. <laughs> That's not really drive the point home. Come on. Yeah. Everyone's an asshole in Westeros anyway, so we don't really need it. And we'll probably get back there. I'm going to jump cut. We're having the figures out of the boxes just yes. to see if you guys have a little bit of time. Exactly. So back in a second. And you see there are the packs on uh, Yes, I just let Brandon go of what he was doing. That's why you can tell who's on the right and who's on the left in the frame. Um, no, these are actually. I was really impressed with the um, sculpting of Bill. Like they've quality. gotten so much better for the sculpting. You know, I mean, they, yeah, the likenesses, like you say, are much sharper than yep. the um, previous series. Like um, Aristar, guy, he looks like uh, Maurice Williams. Yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah, I, 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 I can't remember how it's. I can't remember how it's pronounced. Quick to the internet. I'm from the UK and everything, but some exactly. words got weird pronunciations. Okay. Well, Fun fact about this. Mm -hmm. She learned how to use her left hand for a sword because she's right hand and the character is left hand, so that's props to her for learning that. That's crazy. But the oh. detail in Arya Stark is actually really good. It is. Likeness is real good. They got rubberized hair, so it's a little bit more flexible. Oh, okay, so you can kind of get the little hair streak and and rubberized. They got a lot more rubber in these figures. I noticed with, uh, especially with Brienne. Yeah. There's a lot more rubber. Well, that was the thing about like armored characters is that, you know, if you make it too rigid, they're barely going to be able to move, right? Yep. So, that was actually a really nice compromise. And there's no joint issues, at least. No, they're a little stiff. Mm -hmm. And also, I noticed here, the rip here is actually done really nicely. Oh, yeah. Rip underneath, done real good. Wow. You can't see any skin underneath, but, you know, she's maybe just wearing two layers. She's wearing ho woolen hose underneath. Tis cold in the north. Uh, yeah, Brian here. Rubber. This one. Actually, she kind of rubber, away in terms of all rubber. the look. Yeah, rubber. Really yeah she's got a really good likeness on her. Yeah. Only problem I have with this figure... Her sword does not fit in her scabbard properly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't true. halfway. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the angle and the. It just doesn't fill probably the hilt or hey, whatever. At least the scabbard right. didn't just break off. You yeah, know? it's all held on pretty good. Like the sour grapes known as Ga Game of Thrones Series 1. I was like, here's to not taking a grenade with that first wave. Um, but yeah, the area is really nicely detailed. Yeah. And the thing is, like, they got full range of motion too, which is actually yeah. really impressive. I think I love this compromise with this armored figure. Is that. You, know, you, know. you got a good range of motion out of the exactly. figure. And it's not unhindered at all. And Jimmy Laster, I'll put him <sighs> right pose reason again, sort of fits in the scabbard real nicely. Yeah. His cloak is rubber, way better than the Jon Snow one. Yeah. Jon Snow has a very rigid rubber, which kind of works for the figure because he's, I guess, frozen the all the time. Right? Exactly. It's cold. Or he's, in the, he's got the, Jimmy Laster always got the finer silk instead of 
cotton and wool. Exactly. So he's got the better material. So it flew, it moves real nicely. You yeah. see it just crinkles right up and it goes back in the ship. So it goes real nice. But it's just the detail of yeah. his armor too. Like and all the little details in here. It's crazy. All the scale mail. Oh, um, I just noticed this on the sword pommel. Yep, he's got the lion head. He's got the lion heads on it, right? On both sides. So, hey. so nice, nicely detailed. Yeah. A little like a uh, gold leaf em uh, embossing in there. Wow. And the blades are okay. They're not made of like a super soft plastic. They're pretty no, rigid. They're pretty rigid. It's not really an action figure to play with. It's more of a really. it's display a display. action figure. Exactly. Which is what Funko specializes in. It's special in display figures, not toys. Exactly. But um, a little disappointed they have not announced Series 3. I'm uh, disappointed. That. I do want my Hordor. Hordor action figure with. Uh, Bran Stark would be awesome. Hell, at this point, I would like to get the Sand Snakes. Or just everybody from this universe. I mean, Funko would put me in the poorhouse, but it'd be so worth it, though. Funko already puts me in the poorhouse. Yeah, they know they do. And you're just getting started. Getting started. No, I'm talking about mini figures. Oh, yes, yes, the minis, yes. But no, they've got some pretty decent articulation. No double-jointed elbows. They elbow are a little wounds. stiff. Got double-jointed knees, which is nice. Yeah, but some of the joints are stiff. They've got to yeah. work on that, but Funko are constantly improving. Yes, they are, which is good, because, I mean, that was the thing about the snafu about the very first wave of the Series 1, is that they were, A, hard to find because they were scalper bait, and B, if you did find them, they were, like, they were practically broke. There was a real high chance of breakage. I got lucky of mine because they were in my own line. Exactly. And I got, I got real lucky. <clears throat> I decided to return my Ned Stark I found, and, you know, because his arm broke off right out of the box, and I got the second wave, which still had the clear joints, which these guys thankfully don't have. No, they fixed and that. They fixed it, and uh, and they fixed the likeness as well. Exactly, which is totally worth it. So worth the price of admission. Huzzah! Yeah, I definitely recommend picking these up. You can still find them in stores, I'm sure. They have a nice series three, so it means they're still producing series two. Exactly. That's usually the way they go. If Funko until they announce a new series, they will still produce the older series. Support the lines, so I can get Jamie without his hand to beat up on, and then he can beat on I me. Think, but uh, I will mainly beat on him. I think they did an exclusive uh, Jamie of a go the Golden Hand, didn't they? I don't know. Well, that's the thing. It's been... I know they did an exclusive Tyrion Lannister Hand of the King version. They did. That was an exclusive to Walgreens. Walgreens dick move, because they don't have Walgreens up here in Canada. And then you have to nah. go on eBay, and then it's like, oh, yeah, you're paying $50 for a figure. Exactly. No. Well, wait, you pay $50 for figures anyway. <laughs> that's when they originally cost $50. <laughs> it's a little different that way. Not a grievous markup. Well, this uh, is... I have done that before. There we have. We're only human, right? And we collectors can all... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Oh, that Someone's got a bit of a cough. Oh, yeah, I know. Sounds sexy voice on the internet. No, uh, we can all agree that we've done that at some point for this hobby. Yeah, especially when you get the older figures you missed it before, like my gremlins. I know I paid... I agree this price for some of the ones I had missed. That's a different story for a different time. Sorry. I was just saying, that's a different story for a different time. Yes, take a drink. Good old Keynes and Weller. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, oh man. Now you now you put yourself off. <laughs> I know. Thanks for watching YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe and find our channel on the Freedom Network. Freedom Network. Freedom okay YouTube, Network. have a good one. Don't wait, don't miss part two either. Part two. Yeah, part two will be coming up uh <coughs> one or two weeks. <laughs> <clears throat> well, yeah, close to now too. I'm okay. <laughs> Have a good one, YouTube. See ya.